Hey everyone, I am gonna mute you guys and we're gonna give everyone else a break, uh, a chance to get in here. Hopefully everybody brought something to talk about today because I will be volunteering you guys. I brought one thing because I always get caught off because I bring so many things. But what I brought is freaking amazing. Okay, I'm still letting everybody in. I'm going to put the post in there. Okay, we got about a minute and a half and then we're gonna get started. I wish there was more people on. This is one of my favorite meetings. And of course, it's the one time that I don't have seven items with me. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. So tonight's meet, well, welcome everyone that's here. Thank you for coming on. Tonight's meeting is, um, I used to call it, uh, Share and tell, or my favorite foods, um, different names for different sessions, I guess. Um, but this is where we go around and everybody gets to share an item or two items or how many items they want of something that helps them either get through the day, hit their proteins, over oh, the sneeze, sorry. Um, just something they enjoy, something they found at Costco, Trader Joe's, whatever the case may be. Um, these these Zooms are all recorded, so you can go look at them and you'll see there's been 25 people, 50 people in these Zooms. So we've had a lot of input. Um, doesn't look like tonight we're going to have as much input, which means our meeting won't be as long unless people have more than one thing to share. Um, when we go around the room, you say your name, you say where you're from. And um, you talk about your item. When you talk about your item, you're just going to give us the macros. So your proteins, your carbs, your fats of the item you're bringing to show us. Um, just to back up with housekeeping, I put everybody, I decided to put everybody in the workout of the day for April. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, but you're all in that group. Um, I also opened up the challenge to people in the Shred Tribe Facebook group that are not in the app, and they're doing it in a chat. Um, to stay committed for a month of continuous fitness. So it helps with habits. You might see your body change, you might not, but that's not the point of it. Okay. Um, since there's not that many people on here, I'm gonna go first. Um, I always bring snacks and stuff like that, but I found, well, my name is Shannon. I'm in Florida, West Palm Beach. Well, Lake Worth. Um, and I always bring snacks or protein shakes or something, but this time I brought something I just found. And if you found it already, you're lucky. Um, I've had it twice so far because it's amazing. 
And it's pokey tuna that you buy in Publix in the freezer section. It comes with the stuff that you get from the pokey store, the um, the uh, the soy sauce with the uh, sesame seeds and the hint of ginger. This one little box that was $10 has 54 grams of protein. I ate it for lunch today and I let a couple of people try a piece or two and they could not believe how fresh it tasted, how amazing the soy sauce um, mix, whatever it was. It all comes together. Like I just let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. I pulled it out of the freezer last night. It all thawed out. I bought it, I think like four days ago and it's best by September 4th, 2025, if you keep it frozen. But I just bought it and it is amazing. I actually wanted to eat it again tonight. But now I'm now that I'm looking at this picture, when I eat it again this week, I'm going to cut up some cucumbers and put it in there with it. And I didn't use the entire packet of sauce. And I'm guessing the sauce is the um, the two grams of fats and the eight carbs. So I didn't use the entire packet. So it was pretty much just 54 grams of protein. And it was amazing. It was like going to a sushi place and getting their poke bowl. That's what it tasted like without the cucumber or the um, jicama or whatever it is they put in it. But it was amazing. So I wanted to share this with you because I have never had <coughs> at home this kind of tuna. It was so good. Okay. You guys are all incognito, except Raina. Raina, did you bring anything to share? You're still muted. You want me to ask you to be unmuted? I brought myself to share. You didn't I'm bring it? Still, I'm still learning. No, I didn't know what this meeting was about. I mean, okay. I love my built bar at the night. Those remind me of those marshmallow twists for the holidays that my yes. grandmother used to buy. That's my go-to. I'm still learning how to figure out. Like I put all day long. I am playing, even if I'm not eating it, to figure it out. I'm just still having a hard time getting all my protein in because I can't believe how much I'm eating that I want to throw up at night. It's like nine o'clock. I was like, what are you eating? I go, I have to have my yogurt. I have to have the school. I have to have it. I want to vomit, but I have to have it. Yeah, and but it will work. And it will work. So um, you will eventually stop eating that late at night and start um, loading it more during the day. Um, but it takes time. I mean, we're just, you're just starting. Yes. And that's why these meetings are good because you'll hear how other people are getting around it. Yeah, so I am learning. I'm sticking with it. So right now I pat myself, but um, yeah, day by day. That's how good. I look at it. Day by day, baby steps. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you talking. That means a lot. Thank to you. Me. Thank you for participating. No, thank you. Nicole, did you want to participate? Sure. Okay, your turn. Um, okay, so I have been struggling with um, sweets like the past couple of weeks. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's stress or, you know, what have you. Like, it's just been a lot. So I've been trying to figure out ways to get something sweet that's not like super high in sugar and fat. So I did find like these Quaker things with um, caramel. They only have like one gram of protein, but it satisfies my sweet tooth and it only has three grams of sugar. And it's, and it's 13 carbs, right? Um, This has 11 carbs. Oh, even better. Yeah, so you can usually have one or two of those. And, sure. and 50 calories. Yeah. Um. So I'll, I'll have like a couple of those a day, but I've just been like, like I said, I've been struggling so bad with sweets. Um. So I've been trying not to eat gummies and Snickers and I'm like, I'm, I'm, and chips <laughs> like I'm so trying but um this seems to help good but yeah I need to figure something else out though there's chocolate ones too have you tried those I'm not a fan of chocolate okay Snickers, there's onions weird. like they have like chip flavor like onion sour cream oh okay so I have to I have to go and see other flavors then yeah they have so many different flavors of those rice cakes that it might help you with the chips and the sweet and maybe you can have because one thing, if they have you said they have sour cream and like onion probably yeah, yeah. okay so I have to try that because I 
I literally had a bag of sour cream and onion chips like yesterday. And that would have so helped that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, like when I want little, if you do like cheddar like or something, I'll get the cheddar one. The little cheddar ones are good. You might like that. Yeah, nice I feel crunch. like the little um like the little mini ones that come like in like individual bags or whatever. But I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and get it. They're good. Next time I'm in all um, the flavors in the little bags too, in the portion sizes oh, too. Okay. Oh, I didn't say where I was from. My name's Nicole. Um, I'm from New York, but I live in West Palm Beach now. Right. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much, Nicole. I appreciate you participating and sharing. No problem. Bonnie, are you driving? She, is she driving? She didn't bring anything, did she? And she's not home, so she can't run to her cabinet. Oh, to you can't hear me. Wait a second. I'm sorry. I'm talking. I'm like, why is she talking? No, I'm I'm outside. I just drove from a, from work to a friend's house. So I'm, I'm actually outside, so I... I, I overcommitted myself here but no so i can still share yay i can share so i have i have my uh my two good smoothie um hi i'm bonnie i'm sorry i didn't i'm i live in new york i'm from new york <laughs> long long island not long island uh, <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so two good smoothie um has 70 calories, has two grams of fat, five carbs, and 10 grams of protein. Um, and since I'm always looking for protein um, boost, because uh, I have, it's hard sometimes for me to have my protein, um, I, I keep these, you know, try to drink one of those every day. And then um, I'm kind of a grazer. So I also have these little almonds. Um, and it's a one bag and it's one of those hundred calorie bags, blue diamond. Um, what flavor is it? What? It looks like it's a flavor. What flavor is uh, it? No, it's just whole natural um, almonds. Okay. So um, it's nine grams of fat and four carbs and four proteins. And this... You know, I think it helps with the hunger, but it also helps me hit the fat sometimes. And I just um, like, you know, nuts anyway. And right. I kind of, I kind of live on the rice cakes um, too. I like, I like the chocolate and the caramel, and I like those little um, cheddar ones that uh, somebody in this group had liked. So I figured I'd try it. So, but yeah, see, look at that. I still was able to share. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> normally i just call you out and you're like well i'm in my kitchen so i'll show you this <laughs> you were prepared i love that awesome. thank cool. you bonnie i appreciate it yeah and um just so people people don't know my sister and i have known bonnie for over 40 years you guys maybe 40 years right you guys have been friends for since you were like 10 right oh uh, no uh Five. So okay. you were well, two. Over 40 you years. were like you were like two or three when when I first met you. You you guys were sitting on your lawn. Uh, <laughs> I was really walking funny. by with my dad. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And now look at we us. Here five in our yeah. reunited. All right, I love it. Um, thank you for sharing. Uh, Stacy, are you up? I am here. I'm in, I'm from New York, but I'm in Omaha visiting my son at grad school. So I did get a few things while I'm here. Oh, good. Um, I have to have these in the fridge at all times. So these are the ASO. This, the numbers are really good on. This is um, one fat, 18 carbs, and four protein. But I play went around with Yasso. The fudge ones are really low on carbs and almost no fat. And then I get the ones that have chocolate covering for days that I need more fat. So that's where I play with my fat usually. Well, that craving um, for chocolate and sweets, that's when I use the mm -hmm. chocolate covered ones. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, for those like the rice cakes, I always buy the big bag of the little ones and I'll buy caramel and cheddar ones. So that way I have both in the house at all times and you can eat how many you need to. Um, um I did pick this up. It's not my favorite anymore, but it, number wise, it's a great way to play with numbers. This has 30 protein. So this is great if you need a 30, but I found ones that are 42 that are so much better. The core, core protein, 42. 
and it's it's it doesn't have that sludgy thick taste it tastes more like chocolate milk or like a yoohoo so I really like the core so much better and the numbers when you really need a lot of protein and you can't choke any down it's very easy with that and if you do the vanilla core protein and add just a little bit of frozen strawberries it's better than any shake you could buy so it's really good if you blend it yep. um, and then a couple of tricks I don't like mayo so with tuna fish, I add hummus and you can do any kind of flavored hummus. And sometimes I'll add, um, what is it called? Uh, like some seasoning, like ranch, um, buffalo ranch seasoning to it to give it a little more kick. And um, for chips, I highly recommend the Quest chips. So I know she was saying she likes chips, but she didn't know how to replace it. There's so many flavored Quest chips. Um, I've been big on to the barbecue lately and the spicy chili. So there's so many flavors if you're looking for. And there's 18 grams of protein in a bag of Quest chips. Yes. And they're delicious because I was never a chip person. I hated chips and I'm a, I have a bag a day of those. So those are good. And then if you need to replace a bagel, I will put up a recipe for um, making your own bagels that are high in protein. It's just nonfat yogurt not that Greek yogurt and self-rising yeast, uh, self-rising flour. That's all you use. And then you can add your own seasonings on it, but um, super easy to make. And I usually make two batches a weekend. Awesome. So I'll put the rest. Love all that. Thank that you. Amazing. That was amazing. Um, a trick also is if you're a cereal person, use protein milk, protein dr drink in your cereal instead of regular milk. A lot of people do that. Um, I can't drink the premier protein shakes anymore. I don't know if I've told you guys this. I like have like this food aversion to it now because I've been drinking them for like 10 years since I've lost the hundred pounds and I just can't stomach them anymore. But um, I did figure out that if I took one and put it in my, my, my portable blender with a little bit of nut butter, I was able to drink it because I had them here. So I was like, I can't not drink them. Mike's not going to drink them. So um, instead of using my powder that I love because it's chocolate peanut butter protein powder, I decided to try it and I was able to drink it and I didn't gag like I was like, gagging prior. Um, kind of like that meme that I posted about the girl trying to eat her protein. Did you guys see it? I shared it. Um, that's how I felt trying to drink the premier protein shake. So uh, yeah, putting it in a blender with fruit or anything will make it so much easier. If you put flaxseed in it, you'll get something out of it too. People said, oh, what if I'm constipated? What can I use? You got to get fiber in it. Put it in your protein shake, right? Flaxseed, best thing. Put it in your protein shake. It'll help you go to the bathroom. Um, so thank you, Stacey. I really appreciate you sharing. Um, Angela, yours, I see your face. Do you have anything you want to share? I know you're new, but you might have something that you found. And you're muted. So hold on. Let me ask you to unmute and then click the button. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. So... I usually end up with a lot of carbs um, and calories. I do okay on the protein end, but I don't have a huge sweet tooth, but I enjoy these. Um, see it? Now we see it. Oh, can't see it. Let's see. Are you? Do you have like a fake background or something? Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> so they're protein balls. Yeah. These actually, I have 200 calories, eight grams of fat, and it's two um, per serving. So it kind of helps a little bit of a sweet tooth. I'm not a big sweet tooth person. I love salty. So it helps me stay away from potato chips. Um, 25 carbs and eight protein. Nice. So that's been and one of my favorites. Good? They taste really good. And it took me a couple of times buying different different brands to find one that wasn't like a, one of those uh, balls that you make the, Oh, this one's probably the best one. I can't remember the protein balls that people usually make with keto diets. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But these are really, really good. So those that have trouble with sweet tooths, these are really yummy. Awesome. Take it in my hold it up. There you go. And then there, we, go. there we go. Perfect. And keep <laughs> it on it. So that's chocolate chip peanut butter. Yes. Chocolate crunch peanut butter. Yum. And that's where really did you cool. find those? This one I found at Costco. Okay. Um, I think you can, and they're gluten free, and I think you can actually get them on Amazon as well. Okay, cool. I'll add them to the Amazon link. Also, awesome. I love new things because I'm I'm the first person that after we get off this meeting, I order everything that everybody. <laughs> should. 
No, they're great. And you, the thing that, that's good about them is you can have one or two, depending on what you need to play with, with numbers. Right. So you're playing macro oh. Tetris to get it to fit. Yeah. Love that. I'm doing pretty good with it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing, Angela. Oh, where are you? Where do you live? Just let everybody know. Oh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Okay. I knew that. I just wanted you to tell everybody else. <laughs> I usually know where everybody is. All right. So I have one more thing to share, which I totally forgot. Sure. I like the you, own protein shakes. Oh, I tell me about it. Shakes. There's 30 grams of protein. It's 200 calories. It's six fats and six carbs. And where do you get them from? I got them at BJ's, but now I've been ordering them online. So okay. I do have these a day. And, and why do you love it? Because it goes that I had other protein shakes I wanted to vomit on. And <laughs> it goes down and reminds me of chocolate milk. It's easy. It goes down. And I do have one of these a day. These are my favorite things. But Has I anyone to... else tried that, play, that brand? Just curious. Because I've never I, even heard it. I've tried it. Oh, you have? Um, what do you think of it, Nicole? Yeah. Okay, so I okay, so I had um bariatric surgery. So for a while I could only have um protein shakes. So I went through a bunch of different brands that I did not like because most of them to me taste like um chalk. Um Oyen is one of the ones that I feel like tastes like chalk, as is um <laughs> Premier Protein. Um really? The, the only one that I actually like, well, okay. So I only like vanilla. I'm not, I don't like chocolate. Um, so the only one that I've been able to, I guess, drink like an entire bottle of has been the Fairlife um, Core Power. Mm -hmm. And it comes in, I think it comes in 24, 24 grams of protein, 26 grams of protein, and I think 42 grams of Right, that's the one Stacey was talking about too, yeah. yeah it's like the yeah. elite something, something. And um, to me, all, all of the different protein amounts, they all taste the same to me, but they taste like a, um, a milkshake. And to me, like I said, to me, it tastes, it tastes like, to be specific, it tastes like a Haagen-Dazs milkshake to me. Okay. Like that's what it, that's what it tastes like to me. Um, that's my favorite. Um, on the mornings where I'm not eating like eggs and chicken, cause I eat chicken for breakfast. Um, on the mornings that I don't, that I'm not eating that I'll have one of those. You got to do what you got to do. Chicken for breakfast. Yeah. is okay. <laughs> I've had shrimp for breakfast, so I get it. Yeah. So, but th okay. th that one is my favorite. Um, the core power. Okay. Um, by fair life. So Stacy and Nicole, you guys both love the core power. I love the core power too. The oh, and I think everybody has like their own thing. Like I've never tasted chalky protein shakes for some reason. I've never tried. I've never had a protein shake that tasted chalky to me. To me, it's more the aftertaste. Like if I can taste that aftertaste of like that fakeness sugar, kind of like a Diet Coke kind of aftertaste, I can't drink the protein shake. And I think that's what I started tasting with the Premier in a way. It didn't taste real to me after a while. Um, but I do want to try the own, so I, or whatever you call it. So I probably will, um, at least find somebody that has some, so I can try one. I can't, I won't buy the whole box, obviously just to try one, because if I don't like it, then I end up giving it away to people. So I'll hope I'll refrain from doing that. Um, thank you so much guys. All right. Who's up next, Jessica or Drew or Ashley, do you have anything you want to share? I can share. This is Ashley. Actually, you're, you're new to the program, so you're more than welcome to share. Yes, I can turn my video on too. One second. Hi, I'm Ashley. Um, I'm from Chicago, and unfortunately, we have snow here today, um, as opposed to you guys in West Palm Beach, so it must be nice. Um, very challenging to get my 10,000 steps in when I have to pace back and forth in my hallways, um, <laughs> but I still get it done. Good for um, you. I do... <laughs> I do have a couple of recommendations. So one is a find from Aldi. It's these protein puffs. I think they might be new. Okay. Um, they taste a little bit like kind of cardboardy. I won't lie, but they're they get like your salty fix. Um, and I'll tell you the macros. So for a full bag, it is two hundred and twenty calories. Uh, total fat is five grams. Carbs are only four grams and total protein for the full bag is 42 grams. Wow. Can I see that bag again? Cause that looks like a pretty decent sized bag with your hand holding it. It's actually 
pretty small. Oh, like you could, you could probably, I, I'm like trying to let show like what it's compared to, but um to your small um, face it looks like it's a big bag <laughs> it's only 2.1 ounces okay so it's not so a like probably like mm, but definitely bigger than like a quest bag of chips but okay. um n- like not like a huge size so they're like little like almost like cheeto balls so okay, 32 grams of protein is amazing yeah so i just found these at aldi i think they're new um, I'm a big Aldi person. Aldi has great um, stuff for protein, especially with how high <laughs> groceries are. Um, but especially if you just finish half the bag, it's 21 grams of protein. So it's a good snack to have. Um, but they're pretty good. So I recommend those. I love and that. then I'm a big Costco person too. So if you do like Snickers bars, which I, I love Snickers bars, um, but they have protein bars called Fit Crunch. It's called Robert Irvine's. He's it's a chocolate cook. peanut butter. Yeah. And it's 16 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, only 190 calories. And if some people are gluten-free, they are gluten-free. Um, they have amazing thing- flavors too, not just the one you have in your hand. Yeah. I think there's like a peanut butter and jelly one. Um, Costco in the city of Chicago is like a madhouse. So I feel like everybody gets the core power elite protein shakes before me and, um, (laughs) like people fighting over the rotisserie chickens here, but, um, yeah, eight grams of fat. That's my biggest thing that I'm trying to keep under. Um, but if I need like a sweet tooth snack that tastes like a Snickers bar, these are pretty good. Yeah. I probably Um, eat one of those like at least twice a week just to cure my craving for bad food. Yeah. They're super good. Um, I put cottage cheese in everything by the way, too, is my biggest tip. Um, I'm a big person that likes like the good culture kind of, I call it like the bougier cottage cheese. Cause it is kind of expensive, but, um, they have a low fat option. I put that in smoothies sometimes in my eggs. Um, and then I also will put it in my pasta sauce to make it kind of like a cheesy marinara. Um, and it's, it's really good to just add that extra protein. So my biggest tip is to add cottage cheese, sweet or savory into anything. And you can kind of hit your protein. It's a good way. boost for sure. Yeah. Love that. Those, are love those. those are great. First of all, you brought something that we've never heard of those little puppy things. And I love that the tip. Yeah, about- they're new. They're good. We have an Aldi's right here. I'm going to go see if they have them. And then we have one across the street from the Orange Theory that I'm the head coach at. So I'm going to check there too. Because every Aldi's has different things. You never know what you're going to get when you go into an Aldi's. Yeah, so true. Thank, Thank you. you. So much, I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, of course. All right. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Jessica? Oh, Drew, you want to go? Yeah. Is your sister with you too? Or are you by yourself? Uh, I'm by myself. Okay. So I like these. These are called legendary. Yep. And uh, there are a lot of that. Th- these have twenty grams of proteins. Right, and they're like pop tarts. Mm-hmm. Put it up to the screen a little bit more. Um, I really like them. How do you? What do you eat them for? Like a snack during the day, or uh, a snack? Yeah, and it helps you get your proteins in, right? Yeah. Did your mom give you that trick? Because I gave her that trick. She found them and we found them together. And then we found where you can buy them and order them. And they're yeah. amazing. And they come in a ton of flavors. Yeah. What flavor is that that you have? Strawberry. Yeah, that's one of my favorite flavors. If you love Pop-Tarts and you can pretend that it tastes like a real Pop-Tart, you will love those. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you so much. Oh, tell everybody where you are, Drew, so everybody knows. Uh, um, I live in Wellington, Florida. Yep. And her mom is in the program. Her sister's in the program. Her aunts are in the program. Cousins are in, fifth cousins are in the program. I'm not sure where Raina fills in there. Cousins, yeah, somewhere in there. So um, thank you so much, Drew. I appreciate you speaking. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see. Jessica, do you want to share? Um, I'm not sure if you have time, but you know, my issue is always getting the protein and that's been my issue. 
Um, what I decided to do instead of full meal prepping is I just prep meat. So like I'll cook like a uh, shrimp or grilled chicken or turkey burgers. I'll just cook like meat. And then through the week when I'm cooking or I'm eating, I'll add to my meal. Like the side. So, yeah. Like yesterday I had this, um, Panera chicken soup, which was, I was really surprised, had 10 grams of protein in it in a cup. And then I added my grilled chicken to it, which bumped it up to like 30 grams of protein in a cup of soup. That's a good idea. So I've been just adding things like that. Same thing like when I do my uh, egg whites, I'm adding like uh, sandwich turkey meat. Um, so that's how I've been trying to supplement, but I'm not big on shakes. I kind of gag a bit. Um, but this one I can handle, which is called rockin' protein. rockin' protein. Um, it's by Shamrock. Okay, it, is that comes, <laughs> it comes in strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Where do you buy it? And and my daughter buys the chocolate. She, uh, I can only find it at Publix so far. Okay. And what I've been doing with it is I don't really drink it straight. It goes in my coffee. It goes in my cereal. It goes in my oatmeal. Anything that I need to add milk to, I add that to it. So I'm hitting my protein uh, numbers as well. Okay. So, so that's what I've been doing. Basically boosting everything, that's, which is amazing. Right. I, mean, I that's can't how seem to eat a lot of it at once. But I notice if I'm supplementing a, a meal or supplementing things like that, then I can I can get it in better. That is a really good idea. I do that with, um, so you guys all know I leave my house at 3.30 in the morning. I just got home a few minutes ago before the meeting. So a lot of times I'll be somewhere that I can put something in the microwave. So I buy the steamers, the Healthy Choice steamers, um, oh. but I will put additional chicken in it. Oh, that's an idea. I didn't think about the steamers. So, and then um, the chicken Good I buy idea. is actually pre-cooked chicken. It's in the, the freezer section in Publix. Comes in a big bag. It's oh. like chicken strips. Um, okay. I like the chicken fajita strips or the chicken something strips or whatever it is. But I keep a big bag of it in the freezer at all times. And then if I know I'm, I'm going to be gone all day, like today I was gone all day. I actually use this as my filler, but... If I didn't have, if I hadn't have found this, I would have grabbed my healthy choice for lunch and a bag, like eight ounces of that chicken. And I mix it in. So it already has the sauce from the healthy choice, a little bit of broccoli, because I don't give you very much. Um, and then it's amazing. And it, it goes a long way. That's good to know, because that's my issue on the weekend, because I'm, I'm in and out a lot and I need something fast food and I'm doing okay through the week, but then the weekend hits. And the weekend food, even though I try to watch it, it just, it's I can't meet my numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard. So you don't want to take four I'll steps remember, forward. I try not to do a lot of frozen dishes. I cook a lot. So I have to remember that maybe as an option. Yeah, and I'm the option. I'm and yeah. something else I did last night, just so you guys know, and you'll be very proud of me. I cooked, sort of, I air fried a pork loin. And Ooh. pork loin actually is a great protein. Yeah. So I made the big pork loin. It was only like maybe 1.3 pounds, but Mike had some, I had some for dinner and then I cut it up and I cut them in those little, you know, you can make them in circles because that's how you cut them. And I put them in baggies of four. So today I grabbed a baggie when I left and when I was driving home, I had some of it. Mm. So okay. I'm making myself sit and eat the meal. I'm eating it while I'm on the go to get my protein in. Lately, um, I, I guess I've eaten too many eggs in the morning. I just don't want the eggs in the morning. That'll happen. So um, I'm not big on bars in the morning, but I found the Quest bars, the uh, blueberry muffin. And um, that was good. It has 20 grams of protein in it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. What works for you is what is most important. Someone else it might not work for. Um, but like I'm over my protein by like 15 grams of protein today because I... Planned ahead, but over planned. Right. It, right. Uh, it's never a bad thing to be over in your protein ever, ever, ever. It never happens. But when it does, it's like, wow, this is amazing. Um, but protein is going to be everybody's hang up all the time. 
-hmm. It's never Mm -hmm. going to be something you're like, oh, protein so easy. No, fats are so easy to hit, right? For a lot of carbs are so easy to hit. You never hit your fats because you cook your food. Um, that's why. I mean, honestly, my carbs are bad though. I have to watch you cook your food. So Mm -hmm. it goes both ways because you cook your food, you're making rice, this and that, right? But so you love your rice, you can have it. I have to measure now. Exactly. I was going to say, you just have to watch Mm -hmm. how much you're eating. You can have it. It's just how much of it are you eating? Um, I love that. And I love that we were able to all have this discussion and it just didn't turn into like a table of walking around the room and showing what we have. Um, Although I do love that. So um, if anybody that was on the, not on this meeting wants to share something, the next meeting that they know are going to be at the next week, next Wednesday, or the following Wednesday, bring it and we'll share it anyway, because we still have over five weeks left to the session. Um, and then three weeks from now, I may decide to do another one of these because you might find something new. I just like to do it right in the front, in the front line so that people that are new will be like, oh my God, I never thought of that. I'm going to do that. Oh, what a great tip. What a great hint. Something like that. So I like to do the beginning versus towards the end for that reason. Um, And we actually did almost a full meeting. So that makes me happy. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Every single person that was in this meeting shared something. You guys get a fist pump for that because that was amazing. I appreciate you guys for coming on, for sharing, finding new foods and sharing it. I'll give you guys an update of what I end up buying. I already started looking on my Amazon to see what I can find, not having to go to a store. I hate going to stores. Um, so have a wonderful day. If you're in the group, that group, awesome. Remember, if you're going to do a step challenge, then you just let me know. I started on Monday. Um, I am going to be on a cruise Friday to Monday, uh, but I will always have my phone. I went to Europe for 15 days and had my phone. So we're never out of touch. I will always answer your questions. I will always reply to your messages. I will always be your coach even if I'm on vacation or not. So um, thank you guys so much for coming on. Have an amazing night. Remember, always be badass. And whatever you share tonight, if you can add it in the Amazing Foods group, a picture of it, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Have a great night, everyone. See you soon.